Hi guys, this is Aaron from Wine Cult, and this is a bottle breakdown. Now today we're talking about the 2019 Rose and Sun Merlot. Uh, but first, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on all the new wines we've discovered across our travels. Now this is 100% Merlot, organically farmed, destemmed, pressed, uh, all going through a natural yeast fermentation and about 16 months on neutral French oak. Uh, Rose and Son is a vineyard-driven line of wines that's been created by Jonathan Rosenson and winemaker Mike Roth as uh, sort of uh, homage to Jonathan's family namesake, uh, Rosenson. Now, this wine pays tribute to Jonathan's family story of immigration to the United States from France after World War II, and the you know continuation of that survivor's legacy, if you will, being passed down to the next generation through their family business. Now, winemaker Mike Roth, uh, a New Jersey native originally, became interested in wine while in school in North Carolina. Uh, Roth actually moved to California and connected with some Napa luminaries, including Nils Venge and Mike Gergich at Gergich Hills. So that's really where he cut his teeth. Uh, I think he got really first introduced to the idea of leaner, fresher styles of wine uh, through biodynamic farming. Now, uh, Roth eventually left Napa to study winemaking at Fresno State, and after completing his degree there, became the head winemaker at Demetria and Martian Ranch. Um, before, just two years later, uh, leaving to start his own work uh, at Lo-Fi with longtime friend Craig Winchester. Uh, so in addition to Lo-Fi, he currently is bringing you know, his viticultural talents to both Coakley Co. Estates and Rosenson. So Rose and Son is actually a second label for the owners of Coakley Co. Uh, they have a very popular tasting room in downtown Los Olivos. And the Coakley Co vineyard where the grapes for this particular Merlot hail from is an organically farmed property right in the heart of the Santa Ynez Valley. So sustainable farming and gentle, meticulous winemaking techniques sort of converge here to produce a handmade, limited production wine that's a wonderful testament to the growth of winemaking in the San Ynez Valley. On the nose, um, there's a lot of cherry, fig, clove, even some undertones of vanilla, which is impressive given the, the lack of heavy new French oak. Uh, the, the grape tannins themselves are nicely integrated, just dense, concentrated fruit. And like I said, without any new oak influence, um, the finish here is just delicious. For more bottle breakdowns and other great wine content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Aaron from Wine Cult, and I'll see you next time.